Hello everyone, this is going to be a contest entry for Hola Lola 0707 H-O-L-A L-O-L-A 0707. So yeah, first of all, I am entering my Leopard Gecko son, I will show you her in a minute, she is a female. Um, yeah, she is a super hypo tangerine care tail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She is approximately 11 and a half inches. Actually, a little bit over 11 and a half inches. So she is just huge. I mean, it is ridiculous how big she is. So, as you can see, you already saw the setup. This, okay, so that's her. As you can see, I had this. In that corner, it's a nice big hide. That this is the hot side, um, moist hide, gigantic water dish. Sorry, I need to clean today. Her food dish and calcium dish. So this is her. She's really pretty. Get out of the light. That doesn't. That's not really showing your colors very well, but yeah, she's a really nice carrot tail. I mean, it's really large. Um, yeah, I got her from uh, just a mom and pop's pet store, which, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, in my opinion, she's very colorful to be at a pet store, but when I say mom and pop's, it just means a local pet store, not really, you know, like a big, it's not a big chain, um, and they got her from a private breeder and he accidentally dropped her off which I don't know how that worked I don't know how someone could accidentally give a gecko to you <laughs> um, but yeah so that is her a couple facts about leopard geckos are that they can one of them is that you can you can. They can drop their tail uh, if you pull or squeeze them, squeeze their tail too hard. So yeah, and it actually does not cause them any pain. So yeah, it is a defense mechanism. So yeah, but just a little side note is you can hold them by the tail somewhat. You just cannot squeeze. You have to be really light and gentle. Another one is that they come from parts of Turkmenistan, which is where the subspecies um, Turkmenicus comes from. They're in some parts of Asia. They are in Pakistan, I think Afghanistan, parts of those places. So, yeah, they their name, if I remember correctly, is Eulfarius macularis, and that can... Certain subspecies, I'm pretty sure, have different scientific names, but the general one is Eulfarius macularis. I'm not sure if I'm um, saying that right. Eulfarius. I don't know. <laughs> but it's something like that, I, and it means eyelid lizard, because they are one of the few lizards that have eyelids. Even though, strangely enough, even though they do have eyelids, they can still lick their eyes so yeah um sorry derp <laughs> next I'm doing I cannot speak right now um yeah leopard geckos are also nocturnal so meaning they come out Daytime, unlike beauties that are diurnal. And also, another little fact is under their armpits, like right there. Um, can't really see it on camera. Plus, when she's in that position, you can't really see it. But it's little bubbles under their armpits, and that's where they store their calcium. So, yeah, if they have bubbles under their armpits, that's great. Another thing to add, or, yeah. <laughs> I am just, I don't know. I am tired right now. So, yeah. Another thing is that she is a year and five to six months in between there. And, yeah, 
but I'm going to wrap this video up. Next, I'm just going to feed her, which I'm just going to tongue feed her. Sorry, I'm going to switch hands. Um, I'm hoping she will eat. Let's see. She should. Maybe. I do not know. I don't know, she's in a bad position since she's in since she's in the corner. There she goes. No. So yeah, <laughs> I do not think she's going to eat. No. Darn it, I really want her to eat, but she is not going to eat right now. So yeah, this is a contest entry for Hola Lola. So yeah, thanks for watching. Wish me luck. I gonna I don't know. I hope I win this. I am probably not because I was very unorganized, but still um I would like to support his contest and go check it out. Enter. It has about a week left. So yeah, come and subscribe guys. Also subscribe to Holololola. So yeah. See you guys.